Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And uh, this is Anirban Datta. And today I'm gonna show you how to password protect graph of a Linux based system, a Debian based Linux system. So uh, first we'll understand uh, what is graph and how we can password protect it. So first uh, let's start uh, booting with the system. So here I am using a uh, virtual box environment, uh, Debian 9.5. You can continue with your own virtual box. So this is the graph menu entry. This is you can see as in uh, this is the graph menu entry where you can uh, log into the system. First, uh, if we enter uh, E out here, E, the, if you press E, you can see uh, there are some entries out here, uh, which are the um, kernel uh, parameters entries. Uh, this, uh, so uh, if someone uh, makes some changes in these entries, uh, he can easily access uh, to the system without uh, even logging in. Uh, like if uh, if I make some uh, changes out here, uh, we can change the root password or something like that. Uh, so anyone uh, who has physical access to a device can uh, actually compromise your system. So uh, we'll see how we can uh, set uh, password out here so uh, no one can access uh, this entries without uh, username and password so we will set up username and password uh, for these entries so only you can access uh, these uh, entries so let's begin so let's uh, boot into the system so this is gonna take time so let me tell you uh, that i'm uh, using debian based uh, system uh, uh, so this method is uh, gonna use for debian uh, based linux like ubuntu kali and all so uh, if you are using uh, other red hat or other uh, linux operating system so uh, so the method would be different so this takes time as uh, the virtual box environment the system had started booting so okay so i will log in with my uh, username so uh, first uh, what we need to do is uh, make a password uh, generate a password uh, for the graph and this uh, where uh, we'll use that password uh, to password for the graph so how we can uh, make that uh, password uh, the password will be an, an encrypted password so let me connect to my putty first here i am uh, using putty to connect to my uh, virtual uh, machine uh, this step is not necessary for you i am just making my things uh, easier so i can easily uh, make some copy paste work I'm uh, logging into my same uh, Debian uh, OS. So uh, first uh, we'll generate the encrypted password. Uh, how we can generate the encrypted password uh, is uh, I have to issue a command. So the command is we have to write grab a password. So you can see I am writing sudo graph make password pbkdf2. So uh, this is the command uh, to uh, create uh, generate the encrypted password. So uh, you will be prompted to enter the password which you are going to use for the graph. So I will enter my password. Re-enter the password. So as you can see, uh, the hash of the uh, password has been generated. So we will copy this password. Okay. Now what we have to do is uh, open 
our graph, graph configuration file and uh, make some entries out there. Okay, uh, so this is the um, graph configuration file. So we'll go uh, to the end of the file and add some lines out here. So you will write. That super scissor is equal to username. You can uh, use any username. I'll be using one. Yeah, write the same uh, you you username you use for the super users. Now here we will paste the gener uh, encrypted generated password. So we have pasted it out here. Oh. So save this file. We are done uh, with editing this file. Now it is found there. Now what we have to do is update the graph uh, with a command. So the command will be. So this command updates the graph. Now you can reboot the system. So you can see the system has started rebooting. And we'll see if we have successfully make the graph password put. Press E here, and you will be promoted with entering a an username. So I will use my name as uh, which I set up in the configuration file. So I will enter the password. So as you can see, we have successfully uh, password protected our uh, graph entries. See. Thanks for watching.